Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today we're going to do a spatchcock chicken on the Kamado Joe Classic 2 using the brand new slow roller I just installed. So if you didn't see the video I just did uh, last time about the installing the slow roller into the Classic 2, we're going to use that to cook this spatchcock chicken. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, all, I got the uh, slow roller inside my uh, Kamado Joe Classic 2. I don't have it started yet. First thing I'm going to do is put some seasoning on this bird and kind of let it sit while the fire comes up the temp. We're going to monitor the chicken today with my meat stick probe. It's wireless, totally wireless. We're going to monitor it, the internal temperature of the chicken and the temperature of the grill with this. It has both ambient uh, readings and internal uh, readings with this so I'm going to use the meat stick to uh, to monitor that. I'm going to use a little bit of Cosmo Q's Dirty Bird to uh, season this up with. Real simple cook. We're going to put some pecan wood on the slow roller and that's what we're going to use. Pecan wood on the slow roller with some Kamado Joe lump, spatchcock chicken, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Show you what we're going to do with it. I'm going to season this up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got the bird all seasoned up real easy. Just nice, even coat of the uh, dirty bird. I'm going to go ahead and stick my meat stick right in the thickest part of the breast there and try to get as much of that in there as possible. Um, you don't want any of that really sticking outside of the meat. You want to get that down pretty deep in there. This is going to monitor the temperature of the cooker and then the internal, of course. It's already dropping down to 40 degrees or so. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Kamado Joe lit. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got my slow roller already installed. I got my charcoal in there, and I'm just gonna use my grill gun just to get right in the middle. Um, I'm just gonna get one part of the charcoal lump lit. Don't need it to be fully lit. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick my uh, pecan wood chunks right around where I have it lit so that it uh, spreads out over time. Put this back on, get it ready, let it sit here and get up to temp, I'll be back. All right guys, my uh, temperature here says it's right at 350. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down a little bit so we don't overshoot too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my chicken right on top of the slow roller here. So it gets enough smoke. And we're going to sit this down and let it roll. Should be able to get the uh, temperature stable within a couple minutes. Um, then we're going to let it heat up on the meat sticks until we get to right about 155 or so on the internal temp. All right, guys, monitoring the chicken with my uh, meat stick. You can see that the ambient temperature dropped a little bit, but it's at 98 internal. We got a little bit of ways to go. I'll be right back. All right, guys, my uh, meat stick is telling me it's reached the internal temp. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Look at that. How pretty is that? Not bad at all. And literally just about an hour, so not very much longer than I would have thought anyway. That looks pretty. But we're going to go ahead and get this off, take a test bite. I'll be right back. There you go guys, take a look at that. I'll tell you what, using that slow roller for the first time, looks like it did a good job. The uh, internal temp is right at 165, so I cooked it within, I think it was in, within an hour, so maybe just a little over an hour. It's uh, perfect. I can smell the smoke on it. It's still juicy. I can see some juices coming out where I had the meat stick in there. And it looks gorgeous. Just a little bit of the uh, Cosmo Q's Dirty Bird. We're going to cut this open and take a bite. See just how it tastes. Let me get a little piece of the breast right up here at the top. And see, so, you know, breast meat's always kind of dry. So we're going to go ahead and test it out. And there's juices coming right out of it. So. 
it's definitely done still hot mm -mm. it's definitely not dry it's not as moist as if I would have sous vide it first but it's still very moist the skin is kind of crispy um, if I would have cooked it a little hotter maybe maybe 400 it probably would have got a little more crispy but it's actually pretty crispy for uh, being at the 350 range so check it out guys check out the slow roller from Kamado Joe if you have an old classic classic 2 buy the edition and it works great so far haven't had any issues with it I will do some more cooks on it of course maybe do a brisket some pork butt I got I can tell the smoke uh, is a little bit more than if it was not on there so and since it concentrated the heat and the smoke right on the bird it works pretty good thanks for watching follow the fire and water cooking channel follow the fire and water cooking facebook group facebook page check out the fire and water cooking podcast anywhere you get podcasts and i'll see you again on the next fire and water cooking video